For the past 30 years, I worked at building grain bins, grain legs, uh, repairing grain augers and grain equipment. My job is very physical, lifting, you know, most the up from anywhere from 50 to 100 pounds or more at any given time. Yeah, in the accident, we were moving a 65 foot, 14 inch diameter pout. I had one end with a skid loader, my boss had the other end with a teller handler, and I was driving backwards with the skid loader. I turned around to look to see where I was going on the road, and when I turned back around, the pipe was inside the door of the skid loader. It had cut my leg just above the knee and uh, it had broke the femur in two places. It broke it up here and then it broke the ball of the knee joint into four places, pieces, and turned it sideways in there. Well, the biggest thing I had was uh, if I was still gonna have a job, if they were gonna you know, bring me back, and the driving. You know, I drive all different types of trucks out there. I have a CDL which, well, I don't do the stick shift driving anymore and everything like that, but you know, I can drive all the automatic vehicles. And you just had to find different ways to, to be able to drive. You just, you know, drive with your left foot. Some of the things that helped me get back to work and the, the things I wanted to do is, you know, you gotta put in the extra work. You gotta wanna be able to do it. You know, even if you have to go the extra mile as to pay for stuff out of your own pocket to be able to do that, well then you buy the equipment, put in the extra work, just so you can get back to what you want to do. Andy's been great. He's one of the best. I mean, it, it also helps that he's an amputee to see that, you know, hey, it can be done. Anything I've ever wanted or wanted to try, he's let me, and he's even brought me in to try other things when they've had them here to try them and that. So that lets me to see all, all what's out there and what can be done. The biggest thing was uh, getting back to work and everything is being able to do what you were doing before. I mean, I can't do as much as what I did before, like all the high climbing and everything, but I still do some climbing to a certain level. You just got to know what your uh, level is and don't go on with that so you don't get yourself hurt again and somebody else hurt. You just, uh, but don't be afraid to try things. 